Oh, I don't know. But we'll see. Now go to bed. You've got school tomorrow. that much of a gentleman. Morning, Mrs. Peterson. Reconsider my offer yet. No, Mr. Garrett. You will. The other day, when I asked you which way the Brumby went, you lied to me, didn't you? You sent us on a wild goose chase. Now, that Brumby is a pest. If you came from these parts, you'd know the only cure for a horse like that is a bullet through the head. We don't need nuisances here. We've got enough to do with our time. My office stands, Mrs. Peterson. What offer? He wants to buy the house and the land. Well, you're not going to sell. I don't know. But you can't. I said I don't know. you'd make it on time. Don't worry, I'll look after them. Thanks. Now, I want you all to meet Anna and Mike. It's their first day, so I want you to look after them. No worries, Miss Bailey. We'll look after them, won't we? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you're all feeling so obliging, because any trouble, and you'll have me to answer to. Now, Mike, you go and sit down the back, and Anna, you can sit over there with Wayne. Hey, Wayne, here comes your girlfriend. <laughs> Hi. So let's have a nice, quiet ride to school for a change, shall we? Morning, Mr. Garrett. How'd you go with the Peterson woman? Is it any of your business, George? Sorry about my brother, he's a real idiot sometimes. It's not easy changing schools, is it? If you um, if you need any help I with don't. anything. Listen, I I heard what happened to your brother the other day. Yeah, it was real funny, wasn't it? No, I didn't think so. I, I'm sorry it happened. Yeah, well, it was lucky they got frightened off by the ghost before Mike got hurt. Ghost? What ghost? He's an old man with a sort of dark cape. He's, I've seen Mike saw him, I seen him too. No, no, that's old Gonzalez. He's real, but um, you, you better stay away from him. Why? Well, they say he's a murderer. He, he lives in the forest, and anybody who enters his land never comes out alive. Oh, yeah. Well, why isn't he in jail, then? Well, the, the cops have been trying to get him for years, but nobody knows where he lives. He just disappears into the forest like a, like a phantom. Let me go! Doing to 
your brother seemed like a pretty good reason to me. Are you all right, Mike? Now, what did I tell you lot before? I'm going to tell the headmaster about this, and I wouldn't be surprised if you're all on two weeks' detention after school. Two weeks? But I have to practice for the pony club competition. Oh, what a shame. Don't worry. I'm going to get them for this. I saw that Brumby. There where? Up by Willow Ridge. I got in a shot, but old Gonzali spooked him and he took off. I'll head back there straight away with some of the men. Good. Could be where he feeds. Take the bulldozer, dig some traps. Maybe we can get that rogue before he does more damage to my broodstock. Right, eh, boss? Oh, and uh, Brian, next time, you miss him, don't bother coming back. You sure you don't mind, Jenny? Wouldn't have asked you if I did, would I? Come on. Come on, Anna. Come on, Anna. 